everyone. So I just wanted to film this quick video about what a coach should do in their very first 30 days of their business. Um, I have some key points here that I want to go over um, and hopefully this video won't be too long. But number one, you want to put yourself out there. You should also establish yourself online right away and get your name and your business out there in the open. With the growing popularity of social media and social networking sites today, you never know who's watching what you post. You could be attracting customers without even knowing it. So it's important to start branding yourself ASAP and your business online from the get-go. You know, promote, hey everybody, I just started a brand new business and go from there. Say I'm excited about this opportunity, who's ready to join me and, you know, learn everything together so we can grow. You know, something like that. You also want to become a product of the product. You're going to work out and you're going to drink Shakeology. And when you immerse yourself with the products and learn about every aspect of the business opportunity, it makes sharing your journey easier and so much more fun. And you grow your belief in Beachbody and your confidence in yourself at the same time. And not only that, but being knowledgeable and passionate about your business and the products you're using allows the uh, prospects or customers to see your confidence and excitement and take it as a sign to trust you. And when they can see that you genuinely believe in the quality of your products, it makes it easier for them to believe that too. And we all know that Beachbody is a whole household name. So aside from the programs and the products, you want to make sure that you're showcasing this business opportunity because it is phenomenal. So, you know, you have the coaching and the, um, the business. Um, number three, you want to create a long list of potential prospects. And by long, I mean like at least 100. So everyone who joins a company like this can go to their family and friends and get a couple of people to buy products or sign up. But no one can sustain a business on family and friends alone. So you want to create a list and keep expanding your network. Add friends of friends. You know, have free groups and have your friends invite friends and promote it and you know, just talk to people in Facebook groups, find people to follow who aren't Beachbody coaches or anything on Instagram who are established with fitness but are not attached to anything. Just talk to them. And if you're unsure where to find other people beyond your immediate circle, use the memory jogger that we have available um, to help you think of names. Um, and when you are you know, making this list and inviting people. I always say that you can't prejudge anyone in this business. Um, and people say they can't come up with 100 names because they can't think of 100 people who would believe and would actually join them. But you can't ever, never, ever say no for somebody else. And in my experience, it's the people who you think will sign up, don't. And the ones that you think would never sign up or join, do and become amazing leaders. So when it comes to recruiting, it's the one of the few situations you cannot trust your gut. Everyone is a potential customer or business partner. And another thing you're gonna do, once you have that list of names, you're gonna enter them all into a spreadsheet like Google Drive or programs like Asana, and that will help keep you organized. So you're gonna, and I'll post links below that, um, this video on tutorials on how to use those programs. But you're gonna wanna make note of all the information about that person, their name, their email, their phone number, maybe a little note about what you talked about, what their goals are. You know, you wanna keep on tabs with that. Um, and because social media and social networking sites have become so popular, if you're not on Facebook, connect with them on Facebook and Instagram because those are key in our business, those social media tours, or uh, tours, <laughs> social media platforms. Um, so what I want you to do right now is stop this video and text, email, or Facebook message 10 people saying something like this, hey, How's it going? The kids are growing up so fast, I can't believe it. Anyways, so I really just wanted to ask, have you ever considered and ask them? And when they respond yes or no, it opens the door for you to tell them more about it. If they respond no, that's okay. 
because no doesn't always mean no. And you want to keep them on your radar because if they don't sign up, they may trust you and have somebody else who might be interested. You're also number four going to want to plug into your community. So when you spend time with other people who are passionate and excited about the same things you are, the energy can be extremely contagious and um, to your business. So if people see how excited you are about the products and um, that you use, they will become more excited to learn about what, what we use and what we do. Number five, you're going to want to come up with a presentation and a plan to launch or relaunch coaching opportunity event or challenge group. Um, knowledge is power. And the more you know about your products, beach body, your presentation, the better off you're going to be. If you don't know where to start, ask your upline coach or other teammates for help. As beach body coaches, we are all a team. We are not in competition with one another. We are here to help each other. So plug in with somebody else, shadow, do a Zoom call, watch videos online, role play with friends and family. It doesn't matter if you're doing it well right now. What matters is that you're out there doing it. And these first 30 days are all about stepping outside of your comfort zone. So don't let yourself spend too long in any one task and let your mind get in that focus and start worrying. Just let yourself avoid something you know that needs to be done in order to be successful. You're only pushing your dreams further away if you don't push forward. And once you feel confident enough about everything, pick a date within the first month or sooner the better of launching your business to host your first challenge group and coach open house or webinar. Um, and as for me, you can join me with my groups and we can launch together. So you are not alone. You will be an apprentice coach. So if you really want to get on the fast track, we can do a double launch or launch your first party within the first two weeks, you know, or challenge group within the first two weeks. And remember, we're not planning a wedding here. Like Nike says, just do it. And if you manage to complete all of these tasks in your first 30 days, you're going to be much further ahead in your business than most people ever get. So give yourself a pat on the back. Building a successful business requires you to wake up every day with a big picture in your mind and the discipline to make it happen. It takes focus, organization, consistency, and hard work. But right now you're off to a great start. And remember, successful people are finishers. Don't let yourself think if this works, but let yourself think when this works.